Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asad Yaqub and I am from Lahore, Pakistan. I teach IELTS here. Well guys, we are going to go with essay writing and I'm going to evaluate some essays and I'm going to just show you essay of 7 band or 7 plus band and I'm going to share some techniques, some uh, mechanics for 7 band essay. How can you achieve 7 band? That's what I'm going to tell you. Uh, let me tell you, many students are actually struggling with IELTS writing and they end up maximum 6 or 6.5 band score. I investigated a lot, so I'm going to share some tips with you. You got to follow these tips and techniques in your actual IELTS test and then tell me if you get 7 band or 7 plus band then definitely I'm going to spread these tips and techniques all over the world in IELTS community. So guys, we are going to critically evaluate one essay which is on fast food and we are going to see what sort of sentences increase the band score, what should be the structure of the sentence if you want to get 7 or 7 plus band in IELTS writing, especially for essay writing. Now, let's go to the book and there I'm going to teach you all the things. Let's take a start. All right, guys, let's take a start. The topic is fast food. Writing task two, you should spend about 40 minutes on this task. Write about the following topic. Now, it is very important to read and understand the topic. So, the topic says fast food is now universally uh, in most countries, all right, fast food is now universally, I think it should be fa fast food is now universal in most countries and is becoming increasingly popular, all right, uh, I think they have missed a word, fast food is now universally common, okay, in most countries and is becoming increasingly popular, some feel that this is a positive trend while others do not. What are your opinions in this? Now see the first thing is this sentence. Fast food is now universally common in most countries and is becoming increasingly popular. This is the fact or this is the background statement or this is the situation, right? That fast food is universally common in most countries and is becoming increasingly popular. Some feel, some feel means some people feel that this is a positive trend while others do not. Others do not means they think it's a negative trend, right? What are your opinions in this means? Do you think this fast food uh, that is becoming universally common in most countries and is becoming increasingly popular that this trend, when they say the word, is it a positive trend? So the trend is actually this is the trend that fast food is becoming universally common and all that. So what are your opinions? Now what is the opinion? Opinion will come, is this a positive trend or is this a negative trend? That is your opinion. If you think that this is a positive trend, then you agree with this. If you think this is a negative trend, then you go against it, right? So anyways, I mean, it's just not like that. But if you think it's positive, this trend is positive, you can write about it. And if you think this, this trend is negative, you can write about that and it is up to you. They've written clearly, give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your own knowledge or experience. Right. Now, Let's just go on and I just show you one essay which is of band score 7 and then we are going to critically evaluate the sentences, right? So, this is the essay, IELTS band 7. Now, I'm going to tell you the type of sentences they have used here and all that. The past 50 years have seen a dramatic increase in the availability of fast food. Now, this is basically a general sentence about the topic and try to write this general sentence in present perfect tense. Have seen present perfect tense and let me tell you guys, your sentences should be strong enough. Increase is actually a noun. So, with this noun, we've got adjective. 
if you write any noun you should write adjective and adjective should be strong if you use any verb there must be adverb i'll give you example of that as well so the past 50 years have seen a dramatic increase in the availability of fast foods some lord its convenience lord means praise or appreciate its convenience and relatively low cost one thing is convenience one is low cost however in this essay i intend to argue that this kind of food is detrimental detrimental means something that causes harm something that tends to cause harm so that this kind of food is detrimental both to the individuals that consume it and to society at large there are two primary reasons for it and those primary reasons are mentioned in the next paragraphs so this is the introduction of this essay now let's go on opinion is very clear in this essay i intend to argue that this kind of food is detrimental that is the opinion that this kind of food this kind means fast food now see he is not written fast food again instead of fast food he is written this kind of food is that de uh, detrimental uh, both to individuals and all that now let's take a start first of all very good coherence and cohesion first of all it is an undeniable fact again good thing for coherence and cohesion it is an undeniable fact that consuming fast food to access results in serious uh, uh, fast food to access results in serious health problems now the first point is consuming fast food to access results in serious health problems food such as fried chicken now this is the kind of fast food see that the replacement foods such as uh, fried chicken hamburgers and chips which are incredibly high in fat and salt are responsible for such ailments as high blood pressure obesity or obesity and heart disease moreover very important and good for uh, coherence and cohesion and see it is used very appropriately now when you use moreover you tell the reader that now i'm going to explain something further moreover although i certainly agree that fast food is both affordable and convenient now he's just saying something opposite i mean he's talking about the uh, benefits or he's talking positively about fast food moreover although i certainly agree that fast food is both affordable and convenient the cost and inconvenience of treating the illness it causes in later life are significant now take a look at this sentence it's a very good sentence moreover although i certainly agree that fast food is both affordable and convenient and then this comma the next part of the sentence is the cost and inconvenience of treating the illness it causes in later life are significant so you need to write some long sentences like that in other words another good phrase for coherence and cohesion first of all moreover in other words now this is how you guys need to use them in other words while fast food is beneficial in the short term its long term effects are generally negative so this is the concluding or uh, you say ending sentence this sentence ends the paragraph or this sentence concludes the paragraph now let's go on further and even more importantly now you tell the reader that you're going to describe further and what you're going to describe that is very important so you can use these phrases as they are and again very good coherence and very good cohesion further and even more importantly though some fast food chains deliberately attempt to attract children in order to shape their future eating habits see very appropriate words very simple language yet appropriate and this essay will get 7 plus ban one particular good example now they are giving the example instead of simply writing for example for instance 
one particularly good example of this is the character Ronald McDonald. The bright clothes and smile of McDonald's clown are a, a beacon to children. Right. Having grown up eating in McDonald's restaurants, people are likely to continue eating there throughout their adult lives. Very good example. It is also interesting to note, see that now the reader is going to be alert that there is something interesting. So you should write something like this. See you guys complain we don't get 7 band in essay writing. Essays don't or writing doesn't give us 7 band. This is the reason. It is also interesting to note that McDonald's provides playgrounds and frequently holds children's birthday parties in order to attract young children and their parents. So we have written two paragraphs and by the way over here you are just giving your opinion there is no contrast paragraph here. By way of conclusion, by way of conclusion is another nice phrase for writing your conclusion. I believe that fast food will continue to become more popular as the pace of life increases. Given the health risks associated with this trend, now see this is one point which you mentioned. I believe that public education campaigns warning people about the dangers of fast food would be warranted. Okay, so this is actually the conclusion. Now once again, I want you to read the topic. The topic is, fast food is now universally, in, uh, universally common in most countries and is becoming increasingly popular. Some feel that this is a positive trend while others do not. Or they can write, is this a positive or a negative trend? Before that, they, they write the trend. What are your opinions on this? or in this means is it a positive trend or a negative trend but the guy here said it's actually a negative trend right give reasons and all that so guys now let's go on and this time we are going to see how the sentences are different for Ben score 5 Ben score 6 and Ben score 7 plus sentence 1 Ben score 5. Fast food is now much more widely available than it was 50 years ago. Alright. Ben score 6. In the past 50 years in I capital, availability of fast food has increased dramatically. Ben score 7. The past 50 years have seen a dramatic increase. Instead of dramatic, you can write some other word as well in the availability of fast food. Now this tells the reader or the examiner that this is really a good written sentence, a well developed sentence. Sentence 2. Some people feel that this kind of food plays a positive role in the world because it is convenient and cheap. Now see, some people believe feel is informal. Some people believe that this kind of food has a positive role to play. Instead of writing plays a positive role, has a positive role to play in the world because of its convenience and low cost. Let me tell you the word cheap is a cheap word. Do not use it in essay. Okay? So instead of cheap, you can use the word low cost or you can use the word economical. Right? I mean, these words decrease your band score. See, just because of that, it's six band. And low cost, convenience, that's really fine. Let's go on. Sentence number three. IELTS five band. But I believe that this kind of food is bad for the people who eat it and also for society. Band six. However, in this essay, I will argue this kind of food is harmful. Now see that the words like bad, very basic word, very, very basic word, right? So you should write some good words. If you want to get seven banned, just avoid these words. I will argue this kind of food is harmful. Instead of bad, you can say harmful, both to individuals who eat it 
and to society in general. So see, people. Instead of people, it's a good idea to write individuals, right, who eat it and to society in general and for society instead of that it, to society in general. Clear? Now let's go on for Ben's code 7 plus. However, in this essay, I intend to argue, instead of I will argue, I intend to argue that this kind of food is detrimental. Detrimental means something that has harmful effects, tending to cause harmful effects. So, this kind of food is detrimental both to the individuals that consume. Now, see, only individuals is not enough. Individuals that consume it and it means fast food and to society at large. Clear? Let's go on. Sentence number four. For Ben score, as everybody knows, just avoid this word, everybody. It's very, very basic. As everybody, and knows as well. Just avoid it. As everybody knows, fast food is very unhealthy. Wow, what a great sentence. Huh? As everybody knows, fast food is very unhealthy. This is very basic. Very, very basic. So, firstly, it is a well-known fact it is a well-known fact that eating too much fast food cause serious health problems. Uh, well-known fact that eating too much fast food, uh, eating is singular, so it should be cause this. That's why it is 6, Ben. Serious health problems. Ben score 7. Now, don't write firstly even. You shouldn't write that. Just write first to fall. First F capital. First to fall. It is an undeniable fact. Instead of writing well known, still casual, you should write undeniable. Okay? So, first of all, it is an undeniable fact that eating fast food to excess, see that eating fast food to excess. Now, there they said eating too much fast food. Now, let me tell you too much. Very basic English. Very, very basic English for 5 band or for 6 band. This is not 7 band English, right? So, they are writing, fact that eating fast food to excess results in. Now, see, causes a basic word. Results in, it's 7 band word. Results in serious health problems. Clear? Now you must be clear how to get 7 band in IELTS writing and believe me, I'm, I'm confident if after watching this video you improve your writing style and you get 7 band, do let me know about that. Sentence 5, IELTS 5 band. Food like fried chicken, hamburgers and chips contain large amounts of fat and salt. They cause illnesses like high blood pressure. Weight problems, now weight problems and heart disease. So, foods instead of food, foods such as instead of like, there they are using such as. So, it means like is basic English. Such as fried chicken, hamburgers and chips are very high in fat and salt. These foods, now see, uh, they cause now, they have written here, these foods are responsible for ailments instead of illnesses. The proper word is not illnesses. The proper word is ailments like high blood pressure, obesity. See that weight problems. Weight problem is very basic English. Weight problem. Instead of that, obesity. They pronounce it obesity as well. And heart disease. For Ben score 7, it's going to be foods such as fried chicken, hamburger and chips, which are, see that now, there is no relative pronoun. Foods such as fried chicken, hamburger and chips are very, they should be a relative pronoun as you prolong, which are incredibly high. Now see, they are saying here, are very high. Now, remember one thing, you must use some good words for band score 7. Instead of very, you can say incredibly. Understand now how to improve your band score? 
Asad Yaqub can give you all these tips only. Incredibly high in fat and salt are responsible for such ailments. Now for ailments, for such ailments. The words like such you can see and which they are important. For such ailments and then what are those? For such ailments as instead of like. Such ailments as high blood pressure, obesity and heart disease. Clear? Now you are very clear and again I tell you, you must follow 7 plus band structure. That is very, very important for you. Okay, so let's go on. We have some words here. Basic, intermediate, advanced. Intermediate, cause, advanced, responsible for. You must use these words only. Result in, don't use cause. Harmful, don't use harmful. Detrimental. <coughs> Firstly, first of all, right, so uh, I, I mean uh, this is for intermediate uh, language use. They use first of all as well. Too much, never use too much, that is basic. To excess, that is better. Incredibly high in fat, contain a great deal of. For too much, you can use incredibly high. For too much, you can use contain a great deal of. Huh? Then you say, seven band ni on the, is vajato ni on the, okay? So, if you use too much and these basic words, you will get very basic band. Incredibly high contain a great deal of fat. Illness, very basic word. Ailment is proper English word, ailment. Serious health problem, serious is a basic word. Major is good word. When we get older, now see this is basic sentence, when we get older. In our later life or in later life. Although and while they are intermediate, cheap. I told you cheap is a cheap word. Don't use cheap. It's a cheap word. Affordable. Economical. And they used some other words for that as well. So do not use cheap. For uh, cheap actually you can use uh, affordable. You can use low cost like that. In addition to this, that is intermediate. Further and even more importantly, let me tell you in essay writing, every word should be important. Everything you say that must be highlighted. Now when I say further and even more importantly, it means I am highlighting my next point. That my next point is equally important. So you need to use, what do you say, some sort of stress element on your points. When I say further and even more importantly means now I'm stressing. Though believe and feel they are for intermediate, interestingly for intermediate, it is interesting to note that that is for advanced. Consume instead of eat, eat is basic word, consume. In conclusion is intermediate. Learn this, set, this phrase. Always use by way of conclusion. Danger. Instead of danger, you can use the word risk or hazard or some other words like that. Right? So this is how you guys can plan and write a 7 or 7 plus band essay. Now I'm going to try that everybody should get 7 plus band and I have found the secret key and the secret formula to get 7 plus band. Just master these words, master these type of sentences. Once you master them, definitely you will be able to get your desired band score. Welcome back. So guys, have you noticed? This is how you can write 7 band sentences. Now you know what is a weak sentence structure? You know what is weak vocabulary? How to uh, change your vocabulary range, right? How to change your sentence structure? How to write strong sentences which are going to give you your desired band score? If you like this video and if you want me to make more videos on essays, please comment and I will comply with your request. 
uh, uh, subscribe this channel Asad Yaku because now I deserve your subscription. I have another channel Asad Yaku Vlogs. You can subscribe to that as well. And I have a Facebook page Asad Yaku IELTS. You must like my Facebook page as well. I teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online arts classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. Asad Yaku wishes you all the best with your IELTS writing. I wish you 7 plus band in your writing, IELTS writing actually, take good care of yourselves, Allah Hafiz.